tomorrow is the summer solstice and so obviously the perfect opportunity to make my fire wand which I will consecrate tomorrow and here it is the final product and uh, let me show you how I put it together how I made it and then I'll see you back here uh, to talk a little bit about the design <laughs> So the design is loosely based on the Golden Dawn design and if I show you over here this is the Golden Dawn design so you've got the three parts one two three and then the fourth part being the fire itself of course representing the three lower worlds and the higher Atziluth world of fire and then you have the Yod symbols three Yod symbols going around the top which you can see there one, two, three of those. So I rather like that. It makes it look really like a flame. And of course, the Yod is the Hebrew letter that represents fire. So that's that works really well for me. Uh, one of the things that uh, the Golden Dawn recommend is to write the names uh, of God attributed to fire along the the wand and then some names of angels attributed to fire and then the magician's motto on the last part over here which i've actually turned into a handle um, the uh, golden dawn version is completely straight as much as i loved writing all over the the dagger that i showed you a season ago uh, because the dagger represents air and for me should be covered in writing uh, for me the fire should be as simple and pure and uh, singular as it can possibly be. I know that the Golden Dawn's wand is recommended to paint all in red and then have the yods in yellow and then write the names of God in green and so on and so forth. Well, the Golden Dawn aesthetic is very colourful and, uh, you know, there, of course there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the colours are very representative and very uh, 
uh, very magical naturally. Um, I, I, I like the aesthetic of, uh, of the wood. I sourced the hazel wood, this is hazel wood, uh, from Etsy. I spent basically a year searching high and low uh, the forests and um, parks near where I live uh, for some hazel wood, hazel or almond, but with absolutely no success. So uh, in the end, I, uh, I reached out to Etsy and Etsy, of course, came up with the, <laughs> with the goods. Uh, historically, hazel was used. I can't remember where I found this information out, but uh, one of the big names, it may have been Dr. Skinner, was uh, suggesting that it's possible that hazel was used in the past because it's what switches were made of. And it was used as a threat to demons uh, to let them know if you don't behave, then I'll use this on you kind of thing, you know, uh, as a, a, a rather milder form of the sword, <laughs> which of course had a more lethal aspect to it than just a punishment aspect to it. Another thing to note is that the Golden Dawn's version of the Wand of Fire recommends having a magnetized steel rod all the way through it, right? So perforated from end to end with, uh, with that rod inside, uh, with the, the north facing outward. Um, I actually did not put a steel rod through here because I found that the core of the hazel wood had this very interesting red core, which I absolutely did not want to get rid of. Uh, it's not the only reason, of course, you know, obviously hollowing out a, uh, a, a wand when you don't have the right tools for it is uh, uh, a very difficult thing. But yeah, you can, you can just about see it there. It looks very white on the picture here, but when it's, um, when it's raw, when it's very freshly exposed, it's actually red. And I thought that's really very, um, very appropriate for a, a fire a fire wand. Uh, it feels great in the hand. It, uh, it's, it's just the right length. Um, I, I'm, I'm really, really delighted with it. There we are. Yeah, it would have been a lot easier to make this if I'd had a lathe. But then I've seen so many lathe made wands and they seem so industrial. Uh, you know, obviously, some people make some very beautiful lathe-made ones, but uh, I, I really like this handmade quality. And the fact that I put almost nine hours creating this uh, feels like, yeah, I put some significant effort into it, which of course is its own magic, isn't it? So there we are. Do you have a wand? Is there anything that you'd recommend that would make this more magical for me? It already feels pretty magical to me. Leave your comments down below naturally. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for spending a few moments with me today and I'll see you very soon with another video. Take care.